last night uh, I finished reading Three Summers by Margarita Liberaki. Um, I sort of went into this book based on the summary, kind of expecting uh, a fun sort of emotional story about three sisters growing up, um, you know, becoming adults, and uh, a lot of romance and that sort of thing. Um, sort of a la Jane Austen, if I can say that. Um, and uh, t sort of taking place in the summer in Greece with all the beautiful nature and everything, and I can say that I was not disappointed by this book at all. Um, this book sort of follows three sisters. Uh, the eldest is named Maria, uh, and she gets married early after spending her youth sort of being a bit boy crazy. Um, she follows this path of submission, and that's mentioned quite a lot in this book. Um, and she seems to think that this is all that a woman can do or should do. Um, honestly, I felt pretty sad for her in this book because I felt like she felt forced into following this path of submission in a way. Like, she felt forced by people's expectations of her and everything. Uh, and she does sort of find joy in this, but she also does seem kind of sad and she seems to be sort of mourning that she had to give up her youth um, to become a mother and a wife. Um, the middle sister is named Infanta, uh, and she follows a very different path, sort of like the opposite. Um, she seems to have some interest in men, but also uh, a great deal of fear of men. Um, and it's hard to tell whether that fear uh, was innate in her or if it was instilled into her by her Aunt Teresa. Um, and her aunt was uh, sexually assaulted by her fiancé and since then has um, had a great deal of trauma and she's terrified of men. Um, and she sort of takes Infanta under her wing and does very often discourage her uh, from becoming close to men, sort of saying that becoming close to men will make you impure and make it harder for you to sort of pursue arts and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, so it could be that because of Teresa's influence, she isn't interested uh, in men physically. Um, but even when her aunt isn't around, the Infanta seems to be very scared of intimacy with men. Um, but, on the other hand, she is interested in a man, and when she rejects his physical advances, uh, he immediately starts dating someone who is willing to sleep with him. Which means he wasn't really that great of a guy anyway, so it's not really a huge loss that he's not interested in her anymore, obviously, because it's literally, like, the same day he just start goes and, like, starts being with somebody else. So he kind of sucks anyways. Um, but... She is very distressed by this, is very upsetting for her. Um, so her emotions were very, very complex, and determining what she actually feels and why she actually feels it is is really hard. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if she just isn't interested in men and she feels societal pressure to be interested in men, or if she is interested in men, but she feels pressure from her aunt not to be interested in them. And there's no way of knowing because she's not like our main character. We can't go in her head and actually see what she thinks. Um, and of the three sisters, to me, she was the most interesting one. Um, and uh, the youngest sister is Katrina, who is our narrator throughout the story. She's sort of uh, very free-spirited. And while she does have a love interest in the book, she seems to be mostly just interested in him as a way to pass the time. She's not really seriously very interested in this guy um, and ultimately she does reject his proposal so that she can travel the world um, like her grandmother did after she left her husband um, and she sort of wants to follow in those footsteps um, to sort of have a degree of freedom and control um, and of the three I honestly found her to be the least interesting she does have the happiest ending I'm very happy for her um, but she sort of felt kind of bland um, however, through this blandness, she's able to function as a pretty good narrator. We're able to more easily put ourselves into her perspective and sort of see the world through her eyes. Um, and I, I really liked this book, and I actually really liked her. She was really funny, and I, I enjoyed reading her, but she just uh, wasn't as interesting as Infanta to me.
Um, and I also kind of wanted to just sort of talk briefly about the writing of this book. Uh, one thing I really loved was sort of the descriptions of nature. There was a lot of description of beautiful flowers and a lot of symbolism in that. Um, there was a lot of descriptions of nice summer weather, which is kind of... I, I do like winter and fall more than summer for the most part, but it's nice to sort of see them described when we're living through uh, winter time right now. Um, and it was very beautiful beautifully written. Uh, it's a it's a book that I do uh, very highly recommend that I, I very much enjoyed reading. Um, and I would be interested to read more work by this author. However, I don't have access to it in English right now. Um, and unfortunately, I don't speak Greek. <laughs> but it, it was a really great book. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.